I'm Heba Ali, I'm the Managing Director of Egypt Ventures. It's a multi-stage investment firm that invests in startups from different sectors. I've been working in the, that space, whether it's venture capital or entrepreneurship support for the last 12 years, and I'm thrilled to be sharing some of my learnings and uh, throughout my journey. It's always been very difficult for me to answer the question what I'm most proud of because I feel that I've yet to accomplish a lot of things and I've yet, um, there's a long road ahead of me to, to, to actually uh, say that I'm proud of what I have right now. But if I were to, you know, um, say one thing, it, it would be to speak my mind uh, openly and freely, irrespective of what the outcome is irrespective of uh, what it will result, even if, it, if it's not going to be uh, agreeable with everyone else, but because you're expressing your truth, even though that may not be other people's truth, but this is your own truth. And this is, I feel, um, is what I'm most proud of. So the two most important women and most inspirational women um, that I, have looked up to grow and continue to look up to are my mother and grandmother and not only have they taught me the strength and love and acceptance um, and they've also were very very different growing up and I've learned so much from both of them um, I still do today everything that I am is because of those two amazing women who continue to be my guiding and, and uh, stars and really my guardian angels. So my first piece of advice is be very, very cautious when you give advice to other people because it's very dangerous, uh, it's very serious and don't give advice uh, lightly at all. Uh, I don't think I'm in a position um, to give advice at this moment. Uh, or at this point in my life, but I do have a lot of learnings. And one of the most important things for young um, graduates and women is to be able to speak up um, early on in your career as you graduate when, if, if you ever feel that you're not being taken seriously because of your age, because of your gender, uh, because you look young, because uh, whatever the reason is, if you feel in the workplace or as you embark upon your career that you're not being given the opportunity, there is a bias or there is uh, something that you, that you think is unjust, you have to speak up, speak so freely, and speak so calmly and confidently because um, if you don't speak up, no one else is going to speak for you.